Tommy, our final game of the regular season away to Dagenham this weekend. What are your thoughts ahead of this one? Um, it's the next game, so it's the biggest and it could be the last, as you said. Um, but we're focused fully on the game. You know, we know the ramifications, what we did in the week. It was an excellent trip from, from everybody who went up there. And we took 20 players, the lads who played, the lads who were on the bench and were disappointed not to start the game. Some got and played a part, some didn't, and some were left in the stand. But to a man, I have to, con- you know, I was really pleased. And I think it's a, a testament to the group that the, the group wanted us to give us a chance on the last day, and we've managed to do that. So, look, if you'd offered me this opportunity when I come back to work at the beginning of July, I'd have probably ripped your arm off around the, your, left el- yeah, your left ear, actually. So, um, yeah, look, we're going into the last game, knowing what's required, we've got to win a football match and see where it takes us. As you say there, it's a, it is a real squad game, isn't it? We've, we've seen really good evidence of that all season. And, and that there was, as you say, good evidence of that with the squad that weren't playing. You know, all those scenes at the end of the game at Gateshead, all of them coming together and congratulating the fans. It was nice, wasn't it? Yeah, it was great. I mean, the 77 Hardy Souls that made the yeah. second journey up there, they, they deserve a huge amount of credit and they helped. I could hear them amidst the, the vitriol that I was getting for most of the game. Um, but look... We as a staff trust every one of the players that we have. Now, some will, some people who will listen to this, whether they play for us or they don't, whether they support us or they don't, probably won't believe that, but it's true. The, the ultimate thing is I've got to pick 11 players and I, I always have to disappoint players. Um, and I don't like doing that, which is part of my job. It's also part of my job to take the flack. But I only like taking flack if I get it wrong. I don't like taking flack for me picking a team and the team hasn't started and the vast majority of our supporters understand that and I just felt on on occasions I think we could just stand back and have a look from another man's shoes and go "Hmm, I can see why he did that because it happened by six quarter seven the other night a lot of people had us beat but nobody in this room did and nobody from the training ground did we had an actual plan Mm. slightly different to what normal but that's because we were a long way from home we'd had a really tough schedule and Every factor was taken into, into consideration. And I called a meeting with my staff at 25 to 6 in the hotel, just the staff, to explain what I was planning on doing and to a man they were behind me. And I knew when that was the case, I had a real confident air about us going into the game. And it will be no different tomorrow. Well, there was five changes, wasn't there? But they all made really good impressions. And... Mm. They obviously got us a win. So has that made a bit of a dilemma maybe ahead of this weekend? Great dilemma. Like I said, there will be disappointments on Saturday from the players' point of view, the ones who won't start the game. There may be disappointment from from people who watch the game. But at the end of the day, I'll be picking a team with my hand on my heart, knowing deep in there we've got enough to win a game. I'm not saying that the opposition are any less than the one we played the other day. They're not. You know, Dagenham are a very well-established club at this level and they've had a good run of form of late, to be honest. So, look, they don't want to put a spanner in our works. That's the way football works. It's, it's the nature of the beast. We, we know if we get at least a point, we'll finish in the top nine of the division, I think, or eight of the division. Mm. It's a hell of an achievement. But obviously, I don't want to hear the D word between now and then and I don't want to hear it afterwards because there's no, none of that in, my, in this season for me. There's been no disappointment. When you look at Dagenham, they technically haven't got anything to play for on the final game. But I think going away to a play to a team, mm. they're obviously going to want to play in front of their fans, aren't they? And, and give well, them a good send off. So it's not going to be easy, is it? We've just counted exactly what you said. If you've never played the game, there's never a game you will play that you don't want to win. Now the opposition have a say in that, and they'll have a say in what we do. Like, you know, ultimately they'll, they'll have spells in the game, and we'll have spells in the game. For the vast majority of the season, we've we've. We feel that things have mostly gone our way the way we've planned. But things do go against you, and that's happened in this last month, unfortunately. But like I said, all I'm doing is being as positive as I can. The team that, that is picked will be a team that we feel can win the game. And if we can't win the game with the team that's on at the start, we'll make changes to try and rectify that. But like I said, it's just the next game for us.